Is it on? You're live. Yep. Yeah. It's live. <laughs> All right. So can you see like if people are watching? I can't. I think there's three people. All right. Hey guys. Point it right there. I'm gonna come around and look at the screen. We are new at live. We've only done it like one time before. Yeah. So it looks like we got three people on. Yeah. I don't see the comments or anything though. I don't know how you do that. That. And so you can flip the screen with that oh, one. Oh look, there's one. Okay. Hey. All right. Oh yeah, they're coming up on the left <laughs> side. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll go ahead and get started because everybody can see this later. But Abby actually had the idea that we ought to do some kind of live video, live feed. With all this craziness going on in the world right now with the uh, coronavirus, and we just figured that we would kind of just talk about what's going on here, and uh, maybe we can walk out to the shop and I can talk about some updates, just some things, you know, that I haven't necessarily shown in video yet, some things that maybe you guys are going to be able to see that's uh, coming up in some future SNS episodes. I've got... I've actually got a couple SNS episodes uh, edited and ready to go, so we got one ready for tomorrow. We got one that I'm working on for next week. And you got 500 people on there? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> this is real. This is a real deal here. I'm used to just having the camera like in front of me and not having anybody around me so that if I screw up, I can edit that out. But this is different. It's another reason I'm actually a little uncomfortable about live videos. But. As I was saying, we've got I got a couple SNS episodes ready, and I'm trying to make some uh, midweek videos for you too of some projects that I've been doing that actually I've already done. So I've got two machining episodes that I'm working on that I plan on releasing next week. We're probably going to shoot for Tuesday and Wednesday because I like to try to spread them out. You know, I don't want to just throw them in there at the same time. You know, people are at home and they're bored. Yeah, so, I mean, They're <laughs> trying to help. It's, it's really crazy. Uh, it's a little noisy, by the way, because the highway. But, I'm going to uh, go over there. Yeah, so for those that don't know, <laughs> we live next to a major highway right here. Yes, we do. And it is, I don't even know what time it is, like 4 o'clock. So people are going home from work. But anyway, there's a lot of people that's at home right now that's going to be home probably for the next few weeks. So I was going to try to put out a couple extra videos during the week if I can, you know, try to keep the projects going. And I've got... I've got some projects that I filmed that I've just kind of got backlogged so that I can get to them, edit them, and show them on the on the YouTube channel. So I'm going to try to bring you guys a few extra videos in the next couple of weeks uh, for all those folks that's having to just you know stay at home that really don't have a lot to do. But we're very fortunate, very lucky that that Abby gets to work from home doing what she does. I have the shop that I get to work in and do jobs and create content. So. We're, we're in a pretty fortunate place to be able to do this. So I'm going to try to help a few of you guys out by making a couple extra videos to publish on, uh, on YouTube. People are wanting to know what you're cooking. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm actually filming a video right now for the A-Bomb Adventure channel. That's where I put all, most all the cooking now and whenever we travel. So I'm filming a video right now on uh, some pork loins. So we've got two pork loins that I just hung. Abby went to Sam's yesterday and picked up a double pack of pork loins. So there's a couple of them there that's uh, that's hanging. I just seasoned them and put them on the pit barrel. Those things turn out fantastic. We did one whenever we were camping last week over at Roosevelt State Park, and it turned out just it was so good. I actually use this right here. Uh, I coat it down with some mustard, and then I use this Bucky seasoning, and it, it was great cooked in the pit barrel you just can't go wrong tell people the name of the other channel a bomb adventures is the second channel and that's where you can go to watch all of our traveling and adventuring and cooking videos uh, that's mainly what's over there I, I put some updates on the camper uh, i've got a few videos that i'm working on for that channel there as well it's going to be going up this weekend and uh, next week as well so if you guys want to see a little bit more of what we get into that's outside of the shop go check out a bomb adventures all right so what's what else are they asking about everybody's just saying hi okay from all over the world it's awesome do we have? it's 724 724 let's see if we can get up to like 1500 hello to everyone that's saying it because <laughs> i want to go to all those places by the way we, we'll get there eventually okay yeah we uh 
We actually do. This is the first time we're saying this. We actually have a big trip planned this week, or not this week, this year. We're going to be going. We went to Colorado last year. You can see that trip on the A Bomb Adventure channel. But we've got another vacation planned for later this year where we're going to be going back to Colorado, but we're going to be taking the camper this time. So we're going to, we're going to be driving. So we're going to hit Yellowstone. Yes, we are. Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. You can't so see how excited Rushmore, I am. Yellowstone. <laughs> Uh, the dinosaur land, I don't remember. The, what, the Nash, uh, Dinosaur National Monument. Dinosaur National Monument. Yep. And then we're going to go back to uh, Breckenridge, Colorado. And we're going to stay there for a week and, uh, you know, just kind of explore around that area of Breckenridge in Colorado because that's just a, such a beautiful area up there. And it's cooler than it is down here in Florida that time of year. And then we're going to go over to uh, Utah and visit Arches. National Park, Canyonland, and then uh, Monument Valley. And I'm I'm probably the most excited about Monument Valley. And we're going to Roswell. Roswell is going to be <laughs> that's after that's Abby's Island. choice. We got our sirens coming. Yeah, we sure do. Show them what the sirens look like. This is what you always hear. <laughs> All day long. Thank you for serving, though. See? Thank you for doing your job. We have both sides of us, north and south. We have ambulance dispatch and fire stations, and this is just a major artery in town, so that's why you hear a lot of sirens. So, back to our trip. I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to be fun. We're going to take the camper this time, and I was going to try to see what I can discover and do some research in it and find out if maybe there's some places that I can go and visit that would be machine shop related some places that I can get on video and share on a bomb 79. So I'm sure there'll be a lot of suggestions out there, but if you do have something really cool that maybe we can go and visit, throw them up there and I'll go through the comments and uh, check them out. So you want to go do some updates over here in the shop? Absolutely. Let's walk over here and, uh, we'll sorry talk. if it gets shaky, everyone. So <laughs> we were also discussing that, you know, we're, we're home, we're safe. We're not really planning on going out and doing a lot of stuff, so we, uh, we stocked up on some food. We got a lot of uh, meats that I can barbecue. Oh, uh, darn. So far in this this area where we're at, it's not too bad yet, but they're getting ready to probably shut everything down starting on Monday. I know the city of Pensacola is mandating uh, all restaurants and bars to be closed starting Monday and only uh, do like takeout. Delivery, delivery and takeout services. Support so. your local economy if you can, everyone. Yep, support your local economy. So I think Grubhub is going to kill it now with all the deliveries. So, you know, do the Grubhub or uh, what's the other ones? The DoorDash, mm -hmm. Diner, you know, use those. Uber Eats, yeah. And get you some, uh, you know, support some of your local businesses. But it's, uh, so far there's only two confirmed cases in our surrounding area. This. I believe Escambia County only has two, or it's either Escambia County and Santa Rosa County. There's only two cases, so they're trying to they're trying to prevent this by you know, blocking everything off so that everybody's not out spreading it around. So. Okay, I'm gonna try here. You let they wanted me to talk. Okay, let's let let's let I don't Abby really talk. Want to be on camera to be honest, but we're gonna do it. Okay, so what I want to say is I work at home every day, and I have for several years. So if you guys are just now working at home for the first time, I just have one piece of advice. Get up and be as normal as you can. Get ready, put your makeup on, not men, or men, whatever, whatever you're into. <laughs> and just try to be as normal as possible. Make your breakfast, enjoy your paper, whatever it is. So there you that's go. all I wanted to say. Hey guys, yep. stay safe, stay safe. Okay, I don't want to be behind the camera anymore. I would say too that if you're one of those people that you have to stay home from work, Maybe you don't have a shop or a workshop that you can go and play in. Just find something to do to keep yourself busy. Go out and do something in the, you know, do your lawn, pull some weeds, plant a garden, or do some kind of hobby project. You know, just just find something to keep yourself busy. But Abby's got a good point. Just get up in the morning and go about your day like you normally would. But just enjoy that time at home and just try to find something to keep yourself occupied. You know? Find a little project to do. So. Crafts. There you go. Do, do a craft. <laughs> cook some barbecue. Go get a grill and cook some barbecue. Get, a, get you a pit barrel. There you go. I'm sure they would love to sell you a pit barrel. Let's come out here and show them a couple things. There's a, there's a job here on the table that I haven't ever actually mentioned yet. 
I was just kind of waiting for the right time to mention it. I'm going to start with this. I just This is a new uh, narrow pallet jack that I got from Global. The old one is right here, this guy. And the hydraulic quit working on it. And I believe it's a welded cylinder. And I didn't feel like screwing with it because you can buy this one for $300 from Global. So I just got me a new one. It's, uh, it's narrow gauge, so it's 20 inches wide, and I got the shorter legs there, uh, 36 inch. Those are super handy to have around the shop when you're trying to move machines and things around. So I just got that today, and I was really excited about that. So there's that. All right. This right here, a lot of you guys probably recognize this. This is the Stoker engine that Keith Rucker is actually restoring. And we got more sirens again. So, Keith Rucker has been showing this engine and some of the other components on his YouTube channel. <laughs> sirens. Normal day. Go uh, on. There's a, there's a part of this repair that he asked me if I would help him with. And if uh, Abby will come over here and look down inside. Sorry it's dirty and got some leaves. But you have... This area here, this area here. Okay. Okay, you got it? Yeah. So we're gonna uh, set this up in the shaper and try to machine this. Uh, that's, I that's, might be too far away. That's the, whole <laughs> the Wi-Fi. Are you, using, are you losing the signal? A little bit. I'm moving around, I'm moving around. Just get right here. Right it's on. just, um, it's getting giving me the wheel. Okay. The wheel of death. Are they saying, can you see any comments? Yeah, there's comments going. Okay, so they can still see this one? Yeah. All right. So anyway, that's, this is going to be one of the upcoming projects. And if you look over here, this is a piece of inch and a half plate that I bought. We're going to make that a fixture plate that's going to bolt onto the shaper because the shaper table is actually not that big. So I'm going to modify that plate right there and machine it so that it bolts onto the shaper. And then we can bolt that engine onto that plate and be able to hold it to do the machine work inside there. So that's a couple of the things that's going to be coming up in the in the coming weeks hopefully in the shop so let's walk inside i think i can still get you a signal in there i don't actually have a like a wireless router out here we're taking off the signal in the house so there's a thing that i can get that uh, i can put out here that i can have good wi-fi out in the shop look more shaper work yes we're just going to leave the door open because the wi-fi signal actually comes right through here but if you go around the corner, it kind of cuts off. So you should be able to uh, come in here and still get a signal. We've got this uh, Davis key seater. This is the one that I picked up from Lance, and I got it wired up. And I plugged it in after we wired it up. And I don't know, I think there's a problem with it. I think it's locked up. It's either going to be the motor or the drivetrain in here is locked up because I couldn't get it to spin over. So. This is definitely going to have to like get broken down, but this was going to be a restoration project for the channel anyway. So there's that, the Davis key seater. And if you look in there at the shaper, you can see we've got the, the universal table kicked over at an angle. I just got through doing a intake manifold job for my friend Phil. And that's going to be a pretty cool series that I'm going to bring to uh, YouTube. Probably going to be like two videos there. So. He needed the uh, he needed the faces machined on this intake so that it would sit flat because he was having a uh, an air leak there, and so we set up the shaper. You can come on now. I think we'll still get a signal. Reconnecting. Yep, it's back. Okay. <laughs> well, see, I don't think we're going to be able to do a whole lot in the, in the shop. Now. We got to get that fixed. But anyway, I think that kind of covers it. Uh, I will say, since we're talking about some shop updates, I did finally get the high voltage circuit run. We've got the transformer hooked up. We've got the circuit run over for the flex arm. So I do have the flex arm now powered up and can use it. I just haven't shown it yet, but we just did that this week. And I'm waiting on a couple of tools that was actually missing to go up into the spindle of the flex arm. So those should be coming in any day now, probably Monday or Tuesday. And um, so we do have the flex arm ready to go. And I did run another three-phase circuit back to this side of the shop. So I do have the electric press now hooked up. We've got a circuit for the Davis Key Seater to wire in. And I added another circuit there for the Queen City Pedestal Grinder. So I'm going to bring it around 
the other side of the wall and hook it into this side of the shop there. So we pretty much got all of our electrical stuff now finished up. I know that's been a long time. I was waiting a very long time for uh, someone to help me get that done and uh, it just didn't happen. So I actually found someone else that came over and helped me and we worked together and got it all, got it all done. So what do you think? This has been pretty cool. That's uh, how many people are watching? 886. Okay. Not too bad. Everyone's still saying hey from all over the world. It's awesome. I appreciate everybody tuning in. and um, They you want know. you to do uh, SNS 300 live. SNS 300 live. <laughs> all right. So my plan for SNS 300 is I've got a really cool spray welding job that I've already done and filmed, and I'm going to edit that for the episode 300. So that was my plan for episode 300. I know they want to do a live. We're going to have to do a live once I get some good Wi-Fi out here in the shop. Yeah, we need to fix that. Because we can't walk out here. You guys will lose signal. So um, we, just up, we just upgraded our Wi-Fi this week. And they told me that there's a thing called the pod that they sell that I can mount out here. And it'll actually boost the signal and provide it out there into the shop. So i got to do that. And he's probably going to hate me for this. But if there's something that you want to see, let him know. Yeah. I have a lot of requests for doing like a shop update. I used to do shop updates a while back in the early years of the channel. And uh, I really haven't done those in a while, but I just try to show a little bit, whatever I get involved in each week, try to share that on SMS. So that's what I was wanting to do was to like show you the electrical, but the signal was dying out there. So we'll just, you'll, you'll see it. I've got it filmed for an SNS video. So we'll try to do another SNS, maybe some kind of some live SNS once I get my good Wi Fi out here in the shop. How about that? All right. I really don't know how to stop it. <laughs> you don't know how to stop it? I don't know how to stop it. Well, we'll figure it out. Well, I'm going to get back to my barbecue and we just wanted to tell everybody hey, and we're doing fine. We're going we're gonna to try to just take all the precautions that they're, you know, wanting everybody to do. Uh, stay kind of hunkered down at home and not get out. And I'm going to be busy in my shop. I've got plenty of projects to keep me busy. I've got some customer jobs out there. I've got projects of my own. So I've got plenty to do. So I'm going to be busy here. Abby's going to be staying home. I'm hoping that uh, all this stuff blows over in the next couple of weeks. But we really don't know what to expect at this point. It's just it's getting crazier by the day. So hopefully you're going to be doing good yourself, though. But just find something to do. Keep yourself occupied at the house. Stay safe, everybody. All right. So check out the videos. We're going to have SNS tomorrow. And then uh, next week, I'll have some more videos ready for you. And we're going to try to have, in the next few weeks, I'm going to try to have some midweek videos for you, okay? Machining content. Don't forget to go check out a Bomb Adventures if you want to see the grilling and the traveling and the camping and that kind of stuff, right? And for me personally, the train video because yep. we missed the train. Go check out the... <laughs> Go check out the Durango, it's the Durango Silverton train ride video. That was one of our highlights of that <laughs> vacation last year in Colorado. It was so awesome. And it, it was totally cool. We loved it. And then we missed our train on the ride back down, so we had to take the bus back. <laughs> but the uh, the good thing out of that is the uh, the shop tour video that I got to take. The, uh, it, the train engineer sat behind us. Yeah, the engineer sat <laughs> behind us, and we got to talk, and he goes, well, when we get back, I'll, I'll show you the shop. I'm like, heck yeah, man. So I've already got that on the channel, and uh, I think a lot of you guys watch that. So anyway, you guys stay safe and uh, take care, and we'll see you pretty soon, okay? You're going to look at the ground while I figure this out. How do you stop it? That's the best part of the video. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know how to stop it. Oh, there it is. There's the X. All right, Sorry, hold on. everybody. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. <laughs> let's uh, let's look at us while we're uh, while we're trying to figure this out. <laughs> What's on the grill? All right. See you guys how later. How cool is it seeing all the comments? Oh Seriously. yeah, that's really cool. All right, later, guys. Bye.